Another new feature in CS6 that can be useful in adapting layouts for multiple page sizes is the Auto Size feature. It can prevent overset text frames, in effect fixing them on the fly, so that when you create new layouts, you never have overset text. Let's take a look. First of all, Auto Size is a property of a text frame, and we can get at it in the Text Frame Options dialog box. So here I'll select this text frame, and I'll Option or Alt double click on it to bring up my Text Frame Options dialog box. And over here on the right, I have my new Auto Size options. I can see that Auto Size is currently turned off for the frame that I have selected. But if I look in the menu, I can see that I have options to Auto Size Height Only, Width Only, Height and Width, or Height and Width Keep Proportions. I'll turn on Preview, and I'll select Height Only. I can see that the height of the text frame now fits the text, and it stayed centered on its original location. That's because the center button was selected here but I can also resize keeping the top where it was or the bottom where it was. I can also set constraints like minimum height. Let's try the width option. I'll select width only, and now it resizes the width from the center. But I could choose to resize from the left or the right. And I can also set a minimum width if I didn't like how narrow the text frame got. Likewise, I could select no line breaks and make the frame be wider. I'll deselect that. And now let's try auto sizing both height and width. And now I have nine options from where I can resize. This text frame got very weird here. It got very narrow and very tall. So what I'd like to do is set a minimum width on it. I'll click on that and I'll set 600 pixels for the minimum width. And let's check out our last option, height and width keep proportions. I'll turn off minimum width and this frame is a square. So no matter how it resizes, it's gonna stay a square. In fact, if I set a minimum width, it no longer fits the text frame vertically because it's constrained to be a square. So now that we've seen where AutoFit is and what it can do, let's see it in action. I'm gonna cancel out of this dialog box and go to the next page of my document where I have a very similar text frame. I'm gonna select the page tool, select this page, and for the liquid page rule on this page, I'm gonna choose object-based. I'll click on the text frame and I can see by the little spring icons that I've allowed this text frame to resize in both width and height, and I've pinned it to the top and left sides of the page. Now you might think in this case I'd be all set. I shouldn't get any overset text in this frame because I'm allowing it to scale in both directions. But watch what happens when I switch from a horizontal to a vertical layout. I'll switch to my selection tool, and sure enough, you can see that there's overset text in this frame. So to allow the frame to resize but not go overset, I need to apply auto size. So first I'll undo the change to a vertical layout. I'll take my selection tool and option or alt double click to bring up those text frame options again. I'll go to auto size and I'll select auto size height and width keep proportions. And I'll select to resize from the top and left. I'll click OK. Now I'll switch back to the page tool. And again, I'll switch to a portrait layout and this time I don't get overset text. So here we saw how the new auto size option for text frames can help you avoid overset text when you adapt your layouts to different page sizes.